Hello and welcome to Security. This is Cesar. Today I'm going to be start starting a series of videos and I'm going to be posting about this AWS WordPress project that I am undergoing. And um, yeah, this is the reference architecture. If you go to the AWS doc site, this is the reference architecture for best practice in implementing WordPress on um, AWS. And I'm going to be implementing this. I think it's a very good project for anyone looking to get hands-on experience with AWS and in terms of learning about different services and how to use different services and how to incorporate these services together. So yeah, this is a, this is a project. Um, it's a WordPress, a three-tier WordPress um, architecture where you have the app tier, the, the, you have the web tier, you have the app tier and you have the data tier. And this is also auto-scalable and a highly available um, configuration because you have basically you have your resources in two different availability zones so, so, such that if one availability zone fails um, you still have instances um, running in another availability zone so yeah so I'm not instead of talking too much about the project I'll just go straight into the project um, yeah we're going to be implementing basically this whole configuration here and um, yeah if this is something you would like to like to follow along uh, yeah please Please do. This is a quite comprehensive project because it gives you different experience with different AWS um, services like EC2, S3, um, VPCs with internet gateways, NAT gateways, um, route tables. Um, you have the load balancers. You have the different data services like EFS, um, RDS, um, Redis. Also, we have CloudFront, um, Route 53. So this is a very comprehensive project. So today I'm going to be starting the first part of the project, which is implementing the VPC and the initial resources I need to begin the project. Um, yeah, for, for this first video, I'm just going to do it up to the point of creating the, the VPC, creating the subnets, and um, also in creating the um, bastion host and, and the WordPress instance I'm going to use as my um, master instance we are able to create an AMI of that instance after installing WordPress and everything. And, and that will be what I'll use for the auto-scaling auto group. So that's what I'm going to do in this first video. Then in subsequent videos, I'll just, I'm just going to break it down into different videos so it doesn't get too long. So yeah, let me go right into it. So the first thing I'll do is go to the VPC console and create the VPC. So I'll give the VPC a name. I'll just call it WordPress project. Then I'll specify the number of availability zones and subnets I need. So I want my VPC in two availability zones. And I need two public subnets and four private subnets, two for the app tier and two for the data tier. So next, I'm just going to give names to the subnets starting on the public subnet i have the public subnet one and the public subnet two also i have the private subnet for the app tier and i'll also have one and two for this one so in one in that one availability zone and two in the and the second one in the second availability zone and i'll do the same for the data tier as well I'm also give, going to give names to the route tables for the public route table, for the route table for um, the app tier one, a private subnet, and also for the app tier um, two, private subnet, and I will also do for the data tier as well. So I don't need any VPC endpoints. I'm going to remove that. Also give my internet, the internet gateway um, a name. Just call it WordPress internet gateway. And um, yeah, this initial conf configuration should be fine. And now I can create 
Det vil vi se. Så so det just takes a few seconds to create. And it's done. So for my initial configuration, I'm going to give full on internet access to to devices in this private app subnet. So I'm going to use it for the initial setup of WordPress. So when I'm done, the private instances would not be reachable from the internet, obviously, but for the initial setup, I'm going to make them make the WordPress instance reachable from the internet so I can properly do all the configuration I need to do. So I'm going to give it a default route to the internet gateway. So devices in this subnet will be able to reach and be reachable from the internet. So that's the initial configuration I need in the VPC console. And next I'll go to the EC2 console to create the initial instances that I need. So before I do that, the WordPress files are going to be saved in a in an EFS file system. So they persist even after termination of the instances. So before I do create the instances, I have to create the file system. So I pull up the EFS console and just click on create file system. I give it a name. Select the WordPress project VPC. I'm just going to give it WordPress EFS as a name. So I'm going to do some customization. This is fine. Click on next. Okay, so here I need to specify the subnet and security groups. So I need to first of all go create the security group. So I'll go back to the EC2 console and go to security groups. So I'll just go ahead and create all the initial security groups I need, starting with that for the Bastion host. I'll just give it Bastion host security group as the name. And give it a little description. And then I select the WordPress project VPC. So next will be that of the WordPress instance. I'll just give it the name WordPress app. And I'll give it a description as well. And connect it to the WordPress project VPC. So I'm going to add in some rules as well. One for HTTP, one for HTTPS, and one for SSH. So for HTTP and HTTPS, for now, I'm going to give it um, access from anywhere for the initial testing. And for SSH, the access will be from the Bastion host security group that I just created. So I'll create security group. Okay, yes, yeah, so I did not add any rules when I created the Bastion host security group at first. So I'm going to add a rule to allow for SSH access from anywhere. Next, I'm going to create a security group for the EFS um, file system. I'll give it a name, also a description. And I connect it to the VPC, the WordPress VPC. And I'm going to add a rule to allow NFS traffic from the WordPress app security group. So that gives the WordPress instance access to the EFS file system. So back in the EFS console, I'm going to continue the setup. Okay, so because the security groups I just created are not showing up, I'll have to restart the setup. So I'll just start again from the initial dashboard. Okay, so I'll give it a name. WordPress EFS and I'll select my WordPress project VPC and customize. So this is fine. So for the mount targets, I'll make sure I have the correct availability zones, um, the correct subnets, which is the data subnet, and um, also I'll select the 
security group I just created for EFS for EFS as well. The rest of the settings can be left as default. And now click on create. So you can just review and create. So it just takes a few seconds and it should be available. And now we can start creating the instances. So the first instance I'll create is the Bastion host instance. And this will serve to give access from, from the internet into my private network. So you can create a key pair if you need to, or you can use an existing existing key pair. And you can select the format you want you, you want to use as well. But I already have a key pair I'm going to use, so I'm just going to cancel and use an existing key pair. So for network settings, I'm going to connect it to the WordPress VPC and put it in the public subnet. Also give it a public IP as well. And then I'm going to use an existing security group and put it in the Bastion host security group. OK, so that's for the Bastion host. And next, I'll create the WordPress, initial WordPress instance that I'm going to use for the configuration. So I'll first and foremost give it a name. But for the instance type, um, I'm going to use the Ubuntu instance in this case, the 20.04 LTS. So I'll select the same key pair. select the WordPress project VPC and I'm going to put it in the private subnet that I um, gave access to the internet which is a private app one subnet. Okay so for this one I'm not going to assign a public IP because I'm going to use an elastic IP. So I don't need to auto assign it. I'm just going to select the security group And give it, put it in the WordPress app security group that I created initially. So I'll also increase the storage size from eight gigabytes to twenty gigabytes. So make it twenty gigabytes. And you can also connect an EFS file system from here, but I'll do that from the terminal instead. Okay, so I'll launch the, launch the instance and. Um, here the instance is, is, you can see it's um, pending and creating. Yeah, so just because it takes some time to edit and narrate the videos, um, I think there's a good place to stop. We'll continue from the next video when the instance is fully running and we can proceed with the installation of WordPress. So the next video will be posted tomorrow. So just as a recap, this is what we're working on. This is the reference architecture for the project. And today what we've done is we've created um, in this video, we've created the VPC, we've created um, the subnets in two different availability zones. Um, so two subnets for the public public subnet, two subnets for the private, sub, private subnet for the app tier, and two for the private subnet for the data tier as well. And um, we've also created um, security groups for EFS and also created a file system. And we've created security groups for the Bastion host and the WordPress instance as well, and, and um, just created the instances. So, yeah, that's just a recap. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.